Hey kids, we've been looking at the book of 1 Corinthians and this week we're looking at the second half of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Over the last few weeks we've seen that Paul has been talking to the Corinthians about the ways that they have been living their lives. He's talked about what food they're eating, he's talked about changing to help others hear about Jesus. He's even given the Corinthians a warning to be very careful about how they're living or they might be at risk of missing out on heaven. And at the end of chapter 10, Paul sums up all of these things into one. He says, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, do everything in a way that shows just how awesome and incredible and amazing God is. But you see, the Corinthians were finding that a little bit tricky to do. See, before Jesus died on the cross and rose again, God's people, the Israelites, had a long list of rules to follow. Rules that told them what they should eat. Rules that told them what they should wear. Rules that told them even how to wash their hands. Rules for every part of life. Rules that help them to follow God. But when Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he got rid of all those old rules. God's people didn't have to keep all the rules to be his friends because Jesus had already kept them, so they just had to trust Jesus. What amazing news! And see, the Corinthians knew this amazing news as well. They knew that they didn't have to keep any of the rules in order to be God's friends. They knew that they were free from all of those rules, but the problem was that they thought because Jesus got rid of the rules that it didn't matter how they lived their lives. They just did whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. But listen to what Paul said to them in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 23 to 24. He said, We are allowed to do all things, yes, but not all things are good for us to do. We are allowed to do all things, yes, but not all things help others grow stronger. No one should try to do what will only help himself. He should try to do what is good for others. See kids, Paul wanted the Corinthians to always be thinking about how they could help themselves and others to love Jesus more. Even if that meant missing out on things they liked. Instead of just thinking about what they wanted and getting their own way, Paul wanted the Corinthians to put on their gospel glasses and think about how they could help others to know and love Jesus more. And kids, if we are followers of Jesus, our job is the same. We're not to think about how we can get our own way or only what we want. Our job is that whatever we're doing, wherever we are, whether we're at school or home, at the shops or at sport, we're to do everything in a way that shows us and everyone around us just how amazing and awesome and incredible God is. Paul knew that that wasn't always going to be easy. So he said the Corinthians should follow his example because he was following Jesus. And kids, if we want to be people who do everything to show others how amazing Jesus is, we can follow Paul's example too, because Paul was following Jesus. So how about we pray and ask for God's help to do this? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for Jesus. Thank you that he kept all of the rules so that we don't have to. Please help us to be people that show others how amazing and incredible and awesome you are. No matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, help us to show others how much you love them. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
See you later.